Hello, I'm Dom Sessa, and this is a piece I wrote called Old Cabin. Seriously? Now my foot's asleep. My back is killing me. I'm tired, and my DS is about to die. Will this car ride ever end? For months, all I've been hearing about is some cabin in the woods that I didn't even know existed. Somehow, I found myself smothered under a mountain of suitcases in the back of my dad's SUV on our way to spend the rest of the summer in this nameless cabin. We've made it to a turn in the road which seems to have provoked an absence of life. We're alone, floating down the desolate road that slithers suddenly into a thicker and denser wood. Suddenly, a structure of hand-chopped logs begins to materialize through the timber, like an artist lifting a curtain to unveil his masterpiece. As we approach, the structure slowly reveals itself. I'm eager to witness the full picture. Finally, our brand new SUV comes to a halt, face to face with the ancient cabin decaying before our eyes. My brief disappointment of excitement, of excited ant anticipation is now overwhelmed by a wave of disappointment, taking in the image of the cabin in its entirety. However, my dismay was lost in the shadow of merriment cast by my father's expressions. He skips to the door, a little boy, Exhausted from the journey, I lugged my body up the stairs of rotting wood and exposed nails to join my father at the door. It takes a second for my father's key to prevail as it fights the expired mechanics of that old door. The door is slightly ajar. An intense odor exits abruptly from the house, faster than we could enter. An antique smell, the smell of countless generations of men, young and old, in celebration of each other's company. The smell of hundreds of deer cleaned, eaten, and displayed proudly on the wall. The smell of a single dream upheld by sons, fathers, grandfathers, and uncles. I'm blinded by the darkness of the house as we make our entrance, greeted only by aches and moans of floorboards. In one motion, my father instinctively steps forward, pulls an invisible string, and illuminates the room with a single light bulb, like he's done it a hundred times before. It is the sole beacon of modern technology in a 30-mile radius. No Wi-Fi, no television, not even a microwave for my hot pockets. Hours pass, I sit here, emotionless, the image of warm beaches and amusement parks back home taking permanent residency in my brain. My father, on the other hand, is observing with immense gaiety old leather-bound picture books that crack at the spine. What does he find so fascinating about this place? What am I missing? I approach my father, attempting to engage in the amusement I feel immune to. His gaze is fixed on a picture of himself holding his first hunt, a raccoon. I can feel a cathartic breath radiating throughout my father's entire being. Looking into, the, looking into his eyes, I can hear the whistle of that bullet as it grabbed and ripped the face of that raccoon. I realize why I was brought here. My, my grandfather purchased this house upon his arrival to America from Italy. America gave him the opportunity to work, an opportunity to make money, and ultimately, the freedom to own his own cabin and create his own traditions. It was his dream to share this place and that he worked so hard for with his son, his grandson, his great-grandson. Behind the ugly face of this cabin is a beautiful American dream that I'm here to fulfill. Thank you.